everyone, it's Icelip, and uh, bringing you another review. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it down because my nephews are sleeping, but um, yeah, I am excited because I got this figure and I got it at a good price. Um, I'd like to thank the Farrell one on eBay, uh, who's become a, a a uh, good friend, and he also sold me the figure that I'm about to show you. And I got it for altogether shipped for $84 or $84.99. Um, when y'all see which one it is, y'all gonna flip because I got it in pack, I got them all in their respective packages brand new. Although, if you've already read the title, you already know what it's gonna be. But for those who didn't, it's the uh. Energon, the Transformers Energon Aerial Bots. Well, they're not called Aerial Bots here, they're just called uh, whatever their names are, but they're, you know, the Aerial Bots who form the, uh, the, the Combiner Superior Maximus. So uh, this is them in their plane modes. Uh, let's uh, start with, we'll get these guys out of here. And get this guy out of here and get this guy out of here and we're going to focus on that dude there now this dude I've had before uh, the first time I got him I got him from Family Dollar and I got him for five bucks um, and at the time that I got him I didn't know he was a combiner I didn't know uh, the packaging said nothing about it. I didn't know what like this extra bit here was for. Um, this is Windraiser, and he forms. Yeah, well, according to the packaging, he forms a leg of Superior Maximus. Um, it's just red jet, jet, jet. Uh, pretty interesting. I mean, it doesn't look like a real jet, but. It, it has enough qualities that you can say, hey, you know, that's pretty nice. It reminds me of uh, Fighter from Machine Robo. I mean, from uh, uh, the Cobots line. Uh, what was he called? He was called Jet Robo in Machine Robo. Um, he comes with these, uh, I'll take them out now. Energon, oh. He comes with these Energon weapons. I'm not exactly sure what they're supposed to... This is supposed to be kind of guns, I guess, or whatever. Uh, you can see this one has the extra bit. Uh, this is used for combining. I don't like to have my bots have extra pieces to the side, so I um, I'll put it on like this. So, uh, let's bring this in closer and see. You can see there's a, there's actually a, a little molded cockpit in there, little seat and everything. So he's got whatever that symbol's for. He's got his Autobot symbol. Of course, his uh, Energon star. And if you look in there, you I don't know if you can make it out. Let's see, Autobot symbol in there. Not exactly sure what that's for. I think that's the spark crystal or something or spark chamber. But um. It's okay. You fold it up, turn it upside down. You can see a little folded up robot. So um, we're gonna get him into his. Whoops. Get him into his bot mode first, which is very simple. You just uh, take the legs out like that. Flip this up here. Fold it along the back. And take the legs. Flip them down. Fold in the landing gear. Do the same for here. Just flip them around, fold them up, there you go, split the arms here, <clears throat> excuse me, fold the landing gear up, and then flip this over, and there you have the robot, and uh, he's pretty nice, he's got some really good light piping, um, let me see if I can get my, oops, I don't know how well this is going to work because I haven't tried it yet, but let's see. Uh, light. Let's bring this closer and you can see. I mean, even without it, it looks pretty amazing, but look. Really 
really good. And I figured out how to do it. Yay. Light pipe. So it's pretty nice. He's got a uh, full range of motion in the shoulders because of the ball joint. Full range like this. Bend. No wrists. No waist. Legs can go forward, backwards, bend. And feet can do that because of transformation. So um, that's that. I usually like to turn. I don't know why these can rotate, but they they can. So I like usually like to turn these down on one of the robots. And uh, that's that. Let me take. Let's put that back on. And you can take his little weapon thingies and straighten his arms out and have him hold them like this. Now, when I used to have them before, I used to put them underneath, underslung, but I like the other one better, the blue version. Or if you want to, because of this hole here, you can actually combine them like that and do that. So, uh, I'm going to get him into his, his limb mode. So, let's do that, and then I'll move on to the next person. You take those off. And uh, what you're going to do is fold that back up. Actually, let's see, I want to turn his head around. Yeah, and fold his head up so it's like that, so it doesn't uh, stick out. And um, put these, oh, put his arms in like this, opposite of the way he is when he transforms into a plane uh, split here and this is kind of hard um, these stick really good even better than I remember them doing before um, anyway you take this rotate that 180 degrees at the knee rotate 180 degrees at the knee yeah and then you take it and you plug those in at the side and uh, put this back up and then you're almost finished. And then you take these, split them apart. Well, you split that one part. Turn this sideways like this. Turn this sideways and slide it in like that. Uh, pull these up just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to plug this into the bottom. There's pegs, there's holes, and there's like clip holders over here. You push them in like so into the pegs, the holes I mean, and uh, then you take these parts and you go like this and they're supposed to hold on like that. So now you've got a foot and then, oh, and I almost forgot, you take this and you plug his fist hole into that peg right there. And that is one of the legs. Now this is done Scramble City style so if you wanted to you can make this an arm too. To turn them into an arm you just do this. You just do that and that's an arm. Pathetic I know but you know at least they the, the core of this thing is pretty good. So there's that one. Put Rin Razor aside. Let's see who's next. Uh, let's go with the other. Uh, we'll go with. Uh, which one are you? I believe you're Sky Shadow. Are you not? See, I never really. Yeah, Sky Shadow. I never really bothered to learn their names. Sorry about that. Um, because on the show, really, the only one who who's actually alive is the body the body part. These are just like drones. And in one of the later episodes, one of the last episodes, you see exactly how expendable these things are. But anyway, take this off so you can see the plane mode better. This one has one that looks like an A-10 Warthog. It's not, but it looks very much like one. So without the Energon bits, you could actually pass this off for almost a, for like a real thing. So anyway, uh, the star comes off. I'm not going to do it because you already saw it. Uh, saw it before. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to unpeg these. 
we're going to open these up. We're going to take this whole section and move it out of the way like so. And uh, we're going to turn this sideways, turn it this way so that this piece is sticking out because if you turn it this way like I did what ends up happening is you end up having um, a very sissy looking bot because his his legs his knees are, are always pointed together so uh, turn it the opposite way turn it around fold up the feet the cockpit becomes one foot and the bottom with the gun becomes the other and this doesn't come off which I don't really like that it doesn't have a matching foot but that's okay take these rotate them around and there you can see the fist inside let's bring it closer you can see there's a fist right in there uh, another thing I'm not too fond of but I can deal with it it reminds me of um, like Cyclone it said that where his thrusters became his hands and then what you do is you pull this piece up flip the landing gear down fold this over like that push this down and it's supposed to click into place and then just turn this whoops turn this around to reveal the head and he's got these things you can pose any way you want to on the box to straight up um, on him I'm going to put him sort of back a bit and then this part uh, and then that's it you just leave him out like that and then you stand him up and take his little thingy here and you can just plug it into his hand as such and it is a gun sort of Okay, it's a little weaker than some of the other Energon um, combiner stuff, but he's still pretty nice. So there's that one, oh, limb mode. Okay, he becomes a foot. So we're going to turn him into his foot mode, which is you take that off and uh, uh, fold. Uh oh. Fold this stuff back like that. And my nephew is up. Hi, Joseph. And I'm not stopping, so he'll just have to be a part of the show. So take this. And hmm, how do I do this? This turns. Oh, okay. It's okay, don't worry. Turn this like that. Turn this this way and plug that into there. And uh, oh, I did that backwards. Flip this down like so. Fold that back like that. And then this can go up like this. No, this goes forward like this. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, and then you take these and rotate his hands back around. It's almost like you're turning them into the plane, but not. Plug them into the side there. And do it on this side. Plug it into the side there. And then you take this and open it up like that. Fold that in, set the handle in, and then you just turn it upside down and you match the pegs up with the holes and you do that and that forms another leg and that's it so now we've got two legs out of the way and we're going to run through these guys pretty fast so you can see this one I like this color scheme better black and the sky blue um, you can see I've got the weapons on the top instead of the bottom. I wanted to make them look different. But, you know, everything else is exactly the same as uh, Wind Razor. This is Terror Dive. And Terror Dive makes, makes one of my friends jelly at me. Yeah, you heard that right. Jelly. 
So, considering that most of these guys for like, go for like 20, 30 bucks on eBay, getting them all for 84 was a real good deal. Shipped. So, robot mode is the same. You can hear my nephew's pressing the button on Megatron. To transform uh, the Megatron Happy Meal thing, Burger King thing. So there we go. Take this and take it underneath. Take that underneath. If I can uh, get my fingers to not lock up. You know, sometimes I wonder if I have arthritis and just don't realize it. Because I have problems with my fingers, they lock up periodically. And weird things. And so, there we go. What happened? You chuck a poopy? And there we go. Terra dive in that mode. Now, to turn him into limb mode. His limb mode is the exact same as uh, his other dudes. There's really, there's no change whatsoever. So we're just gonna do that quickly. Turn that around. Flip them like that. Um, put this, oops, wrong way. Like that. Again, like you're getting ready to turn into a plane except you put the hands the wrong way. And, uh, no, no, that's right. Okay, let's split this. Sorry if I'm off camera. I'm trying not to be, but it's a little hard. Uh, and you can see the difficulty. Uh, I'm getting that open, so you do that. And fold that that way. Do it again, and I know I said I wasn't gonna talk you through it, but I'm doing it anyway, and I don't know why. And then take this and form the hand bit. And if everything goes toppling over, that's because my nephew probably didn't realize this, how this thing was set up and re leaned on it. And yeah, so. No, no. That won't work very well, young man. You're so silly. So. And then you just take these and you fold them down and try not to unplug it from here which is very hard to do or very easy to do I forget which one one's the right way and there you go there you got limb mode and then uh, this has to come down but everything's really tight tighter than a lot of toys you get nowadays to be honest with you so there's that guy uh, no no that wasn't terror dive that was storm jet my bad I was looking at the wrong box all right this this is terror dive so this is the one that uh my butt, butt needs as a matter of fact actually neo shade needs two of them so, um, guys, y'all need to check out check out my eBay seller. I mean, I know there's a bunch of good ones out there, but um, my guy has some good stuff too, and you need to, you know, go check him out. Check him out. He's just he's just started stocking up on stuff that he doesn't normally stock up on. He's got some G1 stuff, G2 stuff. Um, he's got Beast Wars stuff. He's got some Cybertron stuff. He's got. He's got um, Energon stuff, and for good prices too. It's not like you know. I don't think he's overcharging or anything. Young man, get out of there. So, so I mean, I'm getting good deals for what I'm getting. So, okay, and is that everything? I think so. So, 
him. I like to keep the their thing like forward. Um, and I'll put it in his left hand. Just so it's different. And maybe fold his wings back. Let's see, will he stand? Yeah, he'll stand. So, oops, he'll stand until I knock him over. So, there he is. Pretty nice detailing. Um, very odd head. It doesn't look... It actually looks more like a, a GoBot or something. It doesn't look like a Transformer, I mean, as far as the face is concerned. So, um, yeah. And then to get him into his, next to his limb mode, you just fold this like you're turning him into the plane. Um, let's see. Turn this like that. Unplug that. And uh, I believe you turn this like this for now. And we'll fold them over like we're turning them into a plane. Just like we're turning, actually, just turn them into the plane again. And plug his things back in. And then just fold his wings up like that. And then you take this, fold the, the handle down, split it just a little bit like that. And this goes into, there's a hole in there, you can see it right there, and you just line it up and push it in. And that is somehow a hand. So, we'll put him to the side now, and now we're going to go for the main body. And this is, oh God. Okay. Again, I made a mistake. This is Treadshot. That's Treadshot. The the blue jet. That's Treadshot. Okay, so let's let's recap. Treadshot. Wind Razor or Razor. Uh, Terra Dive and Sky Shadow. All right. That's the proper, uh, proper what you might call it. The only reason I know Windraiser so well is because I had Windraiser. Again, I have, I gave him to my nephew last year, but then the arm came off, and so he's been in stasis. Anyway, so this, okay, this is Stormjet. Many of you are probably like looking like, dude, it took you forever to get to getting the name right. Yeah, this is Stormjet. He turns into, I guess it's supposed to be sort of, sort of a Concordish type jet. But, um, yeah, no way this is going to pass for a Concord. Very Cybertronian. He's obviously supposed to be Silverbolt. Um, the colors aren't quite right for Silverbolt, but that's okay. It's an Energon toy, and I, I, you know what? I love the colors on this thing. It looks awesome. I'm glad I got him. He doesn't come with an Energon star. He doesn't come with weapons, so... He does have Minicon ports, though. Uh, I didn't bring any Minicons, so we're not going to test it out. But anyway, to turn him into a robot... Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can remember this. And get these out of the way. And this bends, and we'll get that out of the way. And we'll get his legs and put them down. And pull them down and turn them about. Pull them down, turn them about. And my guy, he's assembled the right way. Like his knees go the right way. It's not backwards like uh, a lot of people have had issues with. Flip this out and flip that out and it becomes the toe and the heel and we'll do it again and go ahead and put something on for him so it's okay what are you doing? so now you've got the robot mostly mostly made I'll put that like that for now actually we'll get these up um, not really sure why they put bothered to put these things in there because they don't really serve a purpose. Um, let me take this and split it down like that. And rotate it and then split it down. 
fold up the landing gear. I forgot to do that. So I'll do that and there's a little nub here. It plugs right into his his crotch and we take this over here and we're going to pull that down. Sorry, pull that down. Flip these out and they flip they uh the little nubs slot into little slots on the shoulders. And then you just turn the head around. And that's about it. Yeah, that's it. So There is there is Stormjet in robot mode, and it's okay. And he's got like his hands are in built in there. I don't know he wouldn't be able to grab anything anyway. So it's, I guess it's good they didn't give him weapons. He's got his you know energon plugs. There's a uh, connector plugs out here, and that kind of sucks, but uh, whatever. And uh, yep, yeah, that's it. He's got good articulation rotates and moves and bends double elbow ratcheting knee rotates and oops these moves so you can get some poses if you want to get them walking or whatever anyway so we'll turn them into the super robot mode body and doing that you just just turn the head back and Fold these back up like this, and then that goes like that. And I guess we no, you click it back into place like that. Then you take the nose cone and split it. Well, not the nose cone, the cockpit. Fold up cockpit up. That reveals the super robot head. And then you just flip that up like so turn it around close that back up and that part's done you take these and you fold them down like that and then you're gonna take well you know what let's leave this up for now because we're gonna need this up put those in like that and uh, turn his wings his arms so they're like this with the fist hole facing out and then you're just gonna Fold it into itself like this, and then plug it into the hole right there. And you're going to do the same thing. Take the arm, turn it facing out, bend it a little bit, and then make sure the forearm is facing like this with the hole up so it can be plugged into that little hole. And then just, I guess, leave that like that for now come to the bottom here, fold up the feet, lift the legs up like so, and they're, they're actually on sliders here, so you push them and they'll slide up like that. I'll do it again, so you take this, fold that up like that, and then push up like this so that they slide up. And that's it. And they don't, unfortunately, they don't lock into place very well. They're just a little wobbly there. And then you take this whole thing that you've already transformed before and uh, bring it down like this. Plug it again into the crotch piece. And that right there is the body mode. Alright, so now we've got everybody combined. Let's, uh, well, everybody in their proper moles is going to combine, so we'll take him. And this is a little tricky because the legs don't like to stay where they're supposed to. Um, uh, so I end up pushing the legs down instead of pushing this guy in. Okay, there we go. There's one leg. Here goes the other. Yeah, 
and this likes to come unplugged all the time. Superion Maximus. So let's get a little maybe using blue on blue was a bad choice. Hold on a second. There. Great, now the white, whatever. So there you can see. And he looks a bit retarded, I won't lie. Um but again, you can mix and match things. Uh, I generally like to have these two legs, have these two guys, uh, have this guy be um, a leg. So let me just do that now. Pull you out. And I'll flip you like so. And I'm gonna, I don't have the fans project upgrade, but I've got something in store for y'all at the end of the video if you wait long enough. Um, and we'll just remove him. And I usually like to have... Uh, I like to have blue on blue and red on red on the, on the same side, but... Um, so... There's that. Okay. Uh. Oops, almost forgot to do that. Dang it. I don't know why this thing is so loose. It wasn't a few minutes ago. Oh, I didn't put the clip the clip up. Okay. My bad. Alright. And then let's turn it back around. It looked better the other way. Alright. And then you have him like that, and, and then it's just his arms that are kind of retarded, but... It, yeah. So, yeah. Now... On his own, I mean, it's not a bad figure. It's not... It's not a great figure, it's, it's, but it's interesting. It's interesting. If you can get him, I would say, try to get him. Um, but try to get a good price for him. Don't overspend. Because you, you're going to need some money so you can get some kind of upgrade set. <coughs> now, um, I'm going to pause the camera and I'll be back with with my upgrade, um, my homemade upgrade thingy. Yeah, you'll see, you'll see. So, hold on. Alright, so here's the first uh, first mode that I came up with. And basically I think Fans Project has it set up like this where you have the the um bot the planes facing up instead of down. Uh except that they have fists and stuff and this still has the you know weird finger things. And now he's got four sets of you know which doesn't look too bad actually. It's just, it's just a little weird. Um, yeah, so, here comes the next part, though, then you take this guy, and he doesn't have a Decepticon symbol anywhere, I checked, so, uh, just keep him transformed like this, and being that he's an aerial type thing, he fits in very well without turning him into a beast mode, 
and then you this is part's a little weird but using the power core ports the power cord the uh, what do you call them things minicon ports you just plug his feet into the back and some of you may like this some of you may not I like it so I'm not going to you know and this will do for now until I get the upgrade set and I'll be looking for it and I'll be looking to try to get it at a pretty good price because uh, you plug them in Try to get the try to get them as close to the body as possible. That looking not too bad. And uh, oops, there you go. Superion's now got wings or a jetpack or something. And the color, the, the gray actually fits in good with, like, the gray here. It's starting to get dark, so hopefully this won't, um, you know, degrade the picture too much, but. I had them a, a little better earlier, but whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. But you can do that. Oops. And now since you've done that, now you can take the weapons and stick them on anywhere you want. Uh, this is how I do it. I turn this around. And put this. Uh, we'll put it underneath. And we'll do the same for the other one, the other side. I'll take this down, put this here. I'm gonna take these, stick them up, well I'm going to, stick them up like that. Like that, and then, you'll see there's a little space here. If you have the Infinity War for a set, like I do, then, I mean, I wish I had the blue ones, but I don't, so you just have to make do. Let's plug that in the hole. And then you've got big old monkey hands. There we go. And let me pull back so you can see. So he's got these it's a little big. It's a little big. I had to use these extra bits because otherwise the post on this wouldn't fit into there. So. And then you just pose the extra bits any way you want to. You know what, let's take that and put that one on the top. It'll probably work better on the top. But yeah. And now you've got weapons everywhere. Now the light's going away, so that's going to get dark. But I know how well you can see this, but you've got guns everywhere, which can be posed to coincide with the arms, or they can, you know, be separate while the arms do something else. So, this 
so yeah, I mean, he, he, you can't really play with him much, but for posing, and you know, just for static posing and stuff, he's pretty okay like this. And now he looks very well armed, actually, to be honest with you, between the Energon weapons and Laser Beaks weapons, who is now strapped to his back. Um, yeah, so if you have Laser Beak or Laser Beak and the Infinity Warfare set or just the Infinity, there are so many different things you can do with this figure. Um, so, anyway. That's it on my slip and uh, saying, yeah, pick up this figure if you can, and if you can pick up the extra bits, pick up the extra bits because it does make it look very interesting. Bye bye, y'all. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to uh, go check out the Pharaoh One's eBay page down there somewhere. It'll be a link, or maybe somewhere here, I don't remember, but do it. All right, bye.